Hey folks, my name is Tyrant44, and today I'm showing off this dice rolling system I designed for games like Yahtzee and Farkle. So to roll the dice, you press this button right here, and it'll dispense shulkers with one of six different colors. And then these banners will tell you which dice number each color corresponds to. But I also made a texture pack that actually turns the shulkers into dice. And using these buttons here, you can lock some dice into place. And then when you roll again, they won't get re-rolled. And then you can also unlock them by pressing these buttons again. And then this button here will reset all of the dice, including the locked ones. So Farkle uses six dice, while Yahtzee uses five dice. You can configure the system for Yahtzee by flipping that lever down. And that disables the last dice, so you only roll five. And you can also use any of these buttons to just roll a single dice. It really is a pretty straightforward system. Also, this concept of using shulker boxes as dice is really useful in general. For instance, we made Monopoly out of it. And I also designed this system where you can select the number of dice that you want to roll. By the way, if there's interest, I'll make a video on this too. So I'm sure many of you are familiar with Yahtzee, but you may not be familiar with Farkle. It's a super simple game that's a lot of fun to play, and it gets very heated at my family reunions. My aunt is an absolute menace. How it works is you roll dice to score points, but each round you can also risk the points that you have earned to earn more. So when you roll, 1s are worth 100 points, and 5s are worth 50 and everything else comes from different dice combinations, for instance, three or more of a kind or a straight. Here's the full scoring guide. Some combos are worth a lot. Now each time you roll, you can save dice to score points. You have to save at least one, but you don't have to save all of them. So oftentimes, people will re-roll their fives because they're not worth that much. Now at any point, you can stand with the points that you have acquired, or you can risk them to re-roll for more points. But if you don't score any points on your roll, then you lose all of the points you've accumulated on this turn, and that's called a Farkle. And then your turn is over and it moves on to the next player. It's worth noting that you only count the dice on each roll, not the ones you have saved, so this wouldn't count as three pairs. You also can't unsave any of your saved dice, unless you clear all six of them with scoring rolls. And if you can clear all six of your dice, and you get them all back, you can keep rolling. Oh wow, that's a straight. It's also possible, though unlikely, to hit a 6 dice Farco as well. You need to score at least 500 points in a round to get on the board, though after that you can walk away with any number in a round. And then the game goes into the final round when one player goes over 10,000 points. Then every other player gets one more turn to try to outscore the leading player. I've seen people come back from down by three or 4,000 points to win it before. Again, my aunt is an absolute menace. So here's a look at the redstone, and it's actually relatively simple, and pretty compact, all things considered. And I think the best way to explain it is to look at a single slice of it. So in this dispenser, you have all six different colors of shulkers. And then when you power this block right here, it depowers the torch which retracts the piston, and then it also powers the dispenser, and it spits out a shulker. Then when you unpower the block, the piston extends and pushes it into the hopper and goes right back into the dispenser. So the rest of the circuit is the locking system. And down here is a T flip-flop, and this is a dropper facing up with one item in it, it can be anything, into another dropper that faces into a barrel. Underneath the barrel is a hopper that faces into the bottom dropper. So now when we press this button, it will power this hopper, which will be detected by the observer, and fire the piston, which triggers the T-flip-flop. So now, this item has moved from the bottom dropper into the top dropper, and then the comparator outputs turn on this lamp, and then it also turns off this torch, which turns on this torch, which locks the piston in a retracted state. And when we press this button again, it will fire the T flip flop again, and now that item is down in the bottom dropper. And then it is in the unlock state. And whether it's in the lock state or the unlock state, we can always set it to the unlock state by sending power to this barrel right here. So we'll eventually use that for the reset line. 
and then you just copy that circuit six times, or for however many number of dice you want. So next we add the rolling function, and here we have a sticky piston with a redstone block. And down here there are two droppers facing into each other, and this is a type of RS nor latch, which means that there's one input to activate it, and a separate input to deactivate it. In the bottom dropper, there's an item. And then, with this block and piece of redstone, when you push the button, it will move the item up into the top dropper. And then there's a comparator that reads that dropper, running into a repeater, which runs around the back side and powers all of these modules, which rolls the dice. And I like to add a repeater between each module, and that creates a waterfall effect when you roll. And back over here we also have a redstone line that faces into the side of this comparator when the piston is extended. And that blocks the output from the comparator, which turns off this circuit, and then turns it back on when the piston retracts again. And that is the reroll function. And now we can add the lever that deactivates the sixth dice for Yahtzee. And we do this by replacing this last repeater here with a comparator in subtract mode, and then running a redstone line into the side of it with a repeater. So finally, we can add the reset system. So underneath this block here, there's a redstone line that feeds power into these barrels. And I have these repeaters set up in a way so that the redstone doesn't interfere with any other components in the system. And since the barrels power the droppers on either side of them, we only need three of these lines instead of all six. So one here, one here, and one here. And over here we need a full block over the top of these two droppers, and that sends the item back into the bottom dropper when the line is powered. And that's the other input to the RS Norlatch. And now you just decorate it however you please, and you have a working dice system. So all of this will be included in a world download linked down in the description. And that also includes a rulebook and scoring guide for Farkle. Some writable books that can be used as Yahtzee score sheets. And a modified version of the system that has just 5 dice for Yahtzee only. And I've also linked the Shulker Dice texture pack too. Once again, I just ask that you leave a like on the video if you use the design. I also just wanted to give a big thank you to all of you for your response on the last few videos. A few weeks ago, I had less than 10 subscribers, and at the time of recording this, I just hit a thousand. And you guys have been leaving so many nice comments, and I love reading through every single one of them. And it's really motivating me to keep doing this. Which is good, because I have an entire minigames district to show off. So, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks for watching.